matter with you? If I knew his fucking, like, ID, I could have brought the fucker to me. Yeah, back to me saying some shit from a while ago. Pictures back, cuz. <laughs> I'ma just talk for a minute. While I'm trying to fucking figure out what it is that I'm doing with this shit, cause no work good. Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, the mod, in my opinion, is messy, buggy, not well put together. Especially that section where you're going from dungeon to dungeon, but it, like it. It don't make sense because you're going from like one type of dungeon to next type of dungeon to next type of dungeon to next type of it don't make sense whatever don't care you wanted to make a continuing chain kind of dungeon without having to take a whole ass dungeon and jam pack it together while moving the cells around and whatever fine sure dude fine fucking hell my only thing is in all that shit, it is <clears throat> messy. If it was cleaned up better, then, you know, great. But I don't know how he would go about doing that. He, she, whatever, I don't fucking care. I'm going to just call him a he because I don't know. That's the first thing that came to mind. Um. Yeah, so that whole thing could have been done better, in my opinion. But I don't. I also don't have any advice to give on how better it could have been done, because I don't fucking know how. So, you know, it's... Not the bestest of mods put together. Mm. Eh, not mods put together. It's not the best amalgamation of things shoved in one piece. But it's not bad. I like the story, generally. Rigmore can be annoying, but I prefer... An annoying character than some character that you know they wrote to be likable but is boring and bland if you get what I mean because you can have the character there that's boring and bland but likable but then you know that's it he ain't had no growth on you because i didn't like rigmore initially she was annoying as fuck but then like after the section where she got kidnapped and well you had to go and help and all like so i was kind of like eh, and she's not too bad but then the second mod came out and I played it just mostly out of curiosity. And I liked it. I liked it more than the first one. So it kind of all grew on me as a package. Rather than just the first one was decent and, you know. I'm going to just rock with that shit. 
I'm reading something and I'm trying to talk at the same time and it's not fucking working. I might leave this out of the recording actually. Yeah, I'm gonna just probably put up something that says skip ahead. Or some shit. I don't fucking know. But yeah, mod grew on me. Ended up liking it. Buggy as fuck though. Trust me. It was one of the reasons why I got special edition too, actually, if I remember correctly. Because I was playing on legendary edition up to the point where, you know, I tried to use the Ring Boy mod on Legendary Edition. That shit was intolerably buggy. And that's before the reboot, huh? So I was there and I was playing that shit and it would crash. I would get two steps and it would crash. I was me in the middle of a fight and it would crash. And that, back then I was playing on my like my fucking laptop and shit. I don't even have that laptop. No. It's been that long. I don't like duh. It would crash on me. I wouldn't be able to fucking progress. But I was liking the mod. I was curious. I wanted to see what would have happened. So I waited a bit. I got the special edition. And then I think that is when I just started working. Five years ago. No, hold on, wait, I had to fact check this. Hold on. Okay, I went back and checked. <laughs> it was on July 8th, 2018, that I downloaded this mod for the first time. And my guy, that shit was fucking frustrating to play. Because crashes upon crashes upon crashes upon you know the game is just sticking randomly and then i'll watch my blasted screen for half an hour because i couldn't even open up the task manager to close the bitch down it was a fucking headache and then i had other mods installed as well it was a headache and then two years later two years later Rigmar of Cyrodiil came out. Was it two years? No, it was a year later, based on the dates. It was a year later Rigmar of Cyrodiil came out. Right? But then I only discovered it like a year after that. Like almost a full fucking year after that, which is 2020. Why is it that it took me that long? I don't know. I kind of just played the mod and forgot about it. Because I liked it, but I didn't like it that much. I would switch it so y'all could see the fucking screen, but nah. I'm not trying to expose the amount of tabs that I have opened up because I'm sure as fuck I have more than 200 or something tabs opened up here. Maybe not that much, maybe one something. Yeah. Hmm. So. <clears throat> I had the fucking. Thing. What thing? The mod. Downloaded. I played it. Right. Then I played the second one. I was like, ooh. Ooh, I like this. So, you know, I continue playing it. And I was hooked from then on. So, when I got a better computer and Skyrim Special Edition, I went back and I played through the first mod. I was like, eh, not as bad. I think that was when the reboot came out. No, actually, yes. No, because a reboot came out a year after the fucking other one, right? 
Yeah, the reboot came out. Yeah, I don't have the dates right because I downloaded it again recently, but I went back and played like 2021, 20, something like that. And then I think I've been waiting on that shit for fucking three years. The third part, because the third part's not out yet. Last I've seen, he's making progress on it. Still, again, I'm saying a he, but whatever. The nigga's name is Rigmore on the thing like the username and shit so so i i, I don't know he she it they them whatever that's not the important part because i don't know what they want to call themselves but what was i saying huh. this is a weird segment to the video am i even going to <laughs> fucking 10 minute long yap session ah uh, fuck <laughs> yeah so that I forgot what I was saying <clears throat> fuck I should have just made a mod pack revolving around this shit and then just I don't know if I can't fix it, nah, I should be able to fix it. I should be able to fix it either by getting the I'm gonna have to count up the um specific quests for it if it don't work by counting it up to get the set stage and then just set it and then reload the game or some shit. Um, just this, you know, kind of fuck with it and hope it works. And then I had to get a necklace off the dead body, so I have to kill them. I'm trying to deal with the patch because it the Nolvus has a cities patch, which includes Falkreath that I'm trying to take out, but it um. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck to do to take that bitch out. Patches. Ah, that's where it is. It's not in cities, it's in towns. And... Oh, yeah. Fuck Skyrim trading post. That shit was getting in the way. It was like in all the hotspots for <clears throat> not all, but it keep popping up along the road. I don't need all that fucking trading hotspots. So. Yeesh. It was like needed or some shit. But, but, but. Uh, how the fuck do I change that? Anyways, I can't change it. I don't know how to change it. I'ma just say fuck it. Cool. So hopefully this works. If it doesn't, fuck it. I'ma have to skip it. I'm going to create a backup just in case and run it. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, well, fuck. I uh, gave y'all some pretty girls to look at. So do I have pretty boys too? Oh, wait, wrong button. I can give you Shep, uh, Shep Keanu Reeves. Yay. Pretty boy. Or like I don't know, fucking fem ship and male ship. Mem ship. Or some shit. I don't fucking know dog. But the what was I even talking about? 
Why am I even recording myself having a full on yap session? It's loading. That's a good sign. How good of a sign? I don't know. But it's a good enough sign. Okay, alright, yep, yeah, alright. Ooh, shit. Y'all wasn't even seeing the full fucking picture. Hold on. There we go. Y'all saw the fucking N7 thing? The outfit looks good. I like the whole trench coat vibes they have going on. What other pictures do I have that I could show off? I did pretty girls. That's a pretty guy. Do I even have a pretty guy? Why would I have a pretty guy? That's my fucking wall. These are my wallpapers, mind you. So. They are to my taste. Obviously. No, I don't have one. Let's all just watch Lady Demetrescu and her children. I haven't actually played the game. I just know the characters. No reason why I know the characters. I got this from uh, B B Black Feather. Is that the name? Yeah, Black Feather. He's um this guy who's creating this um this uh visual novel game type bullshit. Full on fucking yap session. Alright, okay, cool. I'ma just take that off for now. We can watch the snowfall or some shit. But the Blackfeather game is like real nice. I got hooked off of just the fucking prologue, my guy. He hasn't even come up with chapter one yet. He may be milking us for money. I'm not sure though. I'm gonna give him some time still before I. Yep. Fucking mosquitoes. Dip with my, you know, Patreon subscription. <clears throat> but that fucking mod, Rigmore, it had me. It's not, it has its bugs and its bad parts, yes. But I like it. I like it. The dialogue could use a lot of fucking work, especially in the first part, where almost every sentence starts with hey, or, you know, or some bullshit, and then you have some lines where she just apologizing unnecessarily just for for what someone just talked to and she apologizing the fuck that don't make sense at least to me um yeah there's also some choices you can make in the i was reading someone's review actually of it and they said it's a horrible mod where you have no choices of the um of love interest with Rigmore. Not that you can't have a love interest with Rigmore. It's that you don't have any. Yeah, this bitch ain't loading. You don't have any. Fuck. You don't have any options to not fall in love with Rigmore. Because. And he was pretty upset with that because I'm guessing it's a he. And it was pretty, <laughs> just, that's just the meaning. Uh, he was pretty upset with it because he was playing as a necromancer who was very loyal to their partner and yada, 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 bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. I can understand that you don't like the premise of the mod, but I don't know. Read the fucking description. Or read up on it at least before you go ahead and decide, ah, yes, 
I'm going to play this. Because, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't suit your fucking taste. Don't just download some shit and play it. I mean, that's what I do. But then don't rant and rave about it afterwards. It don't make no fucking sense. Anyways. I'm gonna put it. Oh shit, I turned up the image right on. Y'all just looking at the back, back screen. Let me put on something else. Should I put on something risque? No, this is going on YouTube. This is going on fucking YouTube. So instead, I'll leave you with this. Don't get me started on Ana de Armas. I don't even know how, if that's how to pronounce her fucking name, but. <clears throat> Anyways. <laughs> Rain, again. Yay. I'm going to put it at fucking like. I'm trying to decide the priority order, load order. I think I'll put it at. 220 where it's not in the way of anything but you know it's also not so low down that it interferes with the maps and all that kind of a shit so because i had that issue when i just hopefully you're not hearing the amount of fucking rain that's pouring on my roof but i had that issue with the load order fucking me over because it was fucking with a map and all that kind of shit so I couldn't see the map but it was just a blue screen or some shit not blue screen like computer nine I mean blue screen like light blue like minecraft oh, no skyrim sky All right, that's enough yapping. I'll, I'll, I'll stop. I'll spare you. Because I have like a whole half an hour worth of just fucking yapping. I didn't even know I could talk that much, to be honest with you. I generally don't talk that much, to be honest with you. I don't know why I'm remote running like a fucking leaking faucet. And then here I am, still yapping. This shit is cute as fuck. I so bad want this little Asari child to be the protagonist in the Mass Effect that's coming out, but I don't know how that will be, how that will work. Maybe, and I'm just spitballing, right? Maybe the background for the next... Shepherd essentially could be Shepherd's child, but like it changes based on who he romanced or who she romanced. If crossbreeding is even a fucking thing, because I don't know if it is. Right, so it changes. Where, oh, yep, we're in business. <laughs> So it changes where if you play as an Asari, that's his child with him and Liara. If you play as well, biologically, probably Asari is the only one that'll work actually. Unless it's with Miranda or Jack or some shit like that. Yeah. Um, who else could he have had children with? I'm not counting Jacob because fuck him and his existence. Mm -hmm. what, uh, what else? Who else? I don't think Karis. Nah. We technically already have a child, Grunt. Grunt is my fucking son, dog. You there. 
We're looking for someone in White Run. We will pay good money for information. Who are you looking for? A woman, a foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in White Run. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. Why are you looking for this person? It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. Who are you looking for again? We're looking for a fugitive who comes from Hammerfell. A Redguard woman. She may be somewhere in this city. She cannot hide from us forever. I can do this real quick. So, what I was saying? Yes, it would be really nice if the fucking protagonist is like Shepard's child or some shit. Or you could go to clone route again because you know they already did that in Mass Effect 3. So you know there's a possibility of it being some kind of a shepherd offspring clone type bullshit. Where the fuck is she? So to the gods, we are nothing more than mere sighted beasts. There's that option. Is that route? Come on in, let me know if you need anything. That, you know, it could be plausible. So, yeah. There she is. Yes. Did you know some Alaka warriors are looking for a red guard woman? Are you sure? Oh, no. They found me? I need your help. Please, come with me. I need to speak to you privately. Quickly, come with me. So, are you working with them? You think you can take me? You so much as touch me and you're going to lose fingers. I mean it. I'll, I'll cut you in half. So the Alakir know where I am? What do they offer you? Gold? How many more of them are Put coming? that down before you get Tell hurt. Tell me. I'm sorry. Just, just don't hurt me. I know you're not one of them, but you just can't help them. You can't let them know I'm here. Please, will you help me? There's no one here I can trust. Maybe. What do you want? I am not the person that the people of White Run think I am. My real name is Enum. I am a noble of House Suda in Hammerfell. The men who are looking for me, the Alakir, they are assassins in the employ of the Almeri Dominion. They wish to exchange my blood for gold. I need you to root them out and drive them away before they find me and drag me back to Hammerfell for an execution. How am I supposed to get rid of them? They're mercenaries, only in it for the money. They're led by a man named Kamatu. Get rid of him, and the rest will scatter. I don't dare show my face, lest they recognize me. So you'll have to find out where they are. Any suggestions as to how I find them? I heard one of them was just arrested trying to sneak into the city. If he's locked up in the jail, perhaps you can get it out of him. Please, I know I'm asking you to do something difficult, maybe even dangerous. I just don't know who else I can trust. Yeah, that's great. And all, but I'm not going to no jail. I'm gonna just go talk to the guys outside. Get them to get their boss. Kill their boss. And then complete the quest. No, as I was saying, it looks the N7 poster. And the trailer, little fuck. I don't know if you call it a trailer, but a little snippet. That shit looks good. Gooder than a bitch. And, 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 and. I don't know if the fucking nightclub that you could have seen in the poster means anything. But, as far as I know, all the Blasted games have a nightclub in it. So, maybe the next one will have one too. That'll be fun to see Asari strippers. Oh, will we be seeing Asari strippers? That's like... This is like after the Reapers and shit. 
This should be spoilers to anybody. The game is old as fuck. I've seen the woman you're looking for. You have? Where? Tell me now. She's in the bannered mare. She knows you're out here. We cannot go after her. Not without drawing attention. You must bring her to us. Lead her to the White Run stables outside of the city. We will wait for you there. If you locate her, find us in Rorik's den. 